The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. The following contest is a gauntlet submission match. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Listen to this place. They're going nuts. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Every time you see Sonya Deville step in the ring, she improves a little bit more. She's a little bit faster, a little bit tougher. The sky is the limit for this lady. Sonya Deville, such a force in the women's division from tough enough in 2015 to NXT in 2017. What a name she's beginning to make for herself. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. What a stomp. Good grief. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. And she's toying with her now. See if she has it in her. You gotta believe this one's over. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Oof. Perfectly executed, guys. Can that beat Sonya Deville? Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No. the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. She's starting to stammer here. Oh, man. I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Guys, we're not used to seeing her like this. I wonder how she's going to respond here. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. 
I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some super Ronda Rousey's done playing. Beautiful technique. She's back in full control now. She's got her where she wants her. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Oh, nasty impact. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Bold move. Harsh impact. This one's over, guys. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for... Look out, look out. This could be it. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. Ronda Rousey's done playing. She better do something fast. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? And Sonya Deville says, not this time. Since day one of arriving in WWE, Ronda Rousey has always said she wants to earn what she gets. Rousey is driven to have the respect of those that she respects. Yeah, and Ronda has all the money she ever needed and all the time she ever wanted to spend it. But she chose to pursue this career as a WWE superstar to show Ronda Rousey's done playing. I think she's trying to prove a point here. She's almost out of it. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Speaking about Ronda earning her keep, Byron alluded to how Ronda... Oh, 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 oh. That's it. That's what she needed. She's got her in her sights. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Oh, what impact. That has got to be it. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize. Nail it. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Can that beat Sonya Deville? When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that in many people... It's locked in. They tapped. They tapped. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Took it to another level to gain that win. There's no way around it. When you're locked in a submission move like that, your only choice... The irresistible force is on Raw. And from San Diego, California, Maya Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible. Despite her dominance at WrestleMania in her debut match, not many folks expected Ronda Rousey's next match to be for the Raw Women's Championship. Well, one person expected it. The Raw Women's Champion at the time, Nia Jax, who personally laid down the challenge against the baddest woman on the planet. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. 
Boom, what impact. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. one's over. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas. She goes for the cover, and Nia Jax quickly kicks out. She's a warrior, guys. Sometimes you'll see a smile on Ronda Rousey's face, but that changes once she goes into combat mode, Corey. <laughs> Call the cops when Ronda's on the loose. She'll tell you she's not a wrestler or a fighter. Ronda's a martial artist. Her judo training means she puts out maximum efficiency with minimum effort. There's a philosophy, purpose, and direction in every... Ronda Rousey's done playing. This might be it! Oh, my. Nice. Shut it down. Oh, man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Byron, Corey described Ronda's judo philosophy with her extensive combat background. How does her past translate to competition in WWE? Well, Rousey is learning that her skills can make her a dominant force in WWE, but she still has to remember that there are moves she's never felt in an octagon and rules that make those moves perfectly legal as well. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She's got her where she wants her. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE Superstars, she counters before it's too late. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Nail it. This one is over. Oof. He's back in full control now. All right, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Up in the fireman's carry. The mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Looking to lock it in here. She's almost out of it. You know, despite Ronda's rigorous training at the Performance Center and continuous improvement, she's out. She escapes the hold. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. She looks for it once again. Beautiful technique. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Even harsh impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. You fellas bringing up Ronda Rousey's first women's championship win. Remind me, shoulders on the mat. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Feet of Fury. The first woman to ever capture the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships. Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE. The goddess, multi time.
What more can Alexa Bliss say about Ronda Rousey that just wouldn't make Alexa a bigger target than she already is? Alexa's already called Ronda an overhyped rookie and a spoiler. I'll stop you right there, Cole. You just can't understand the mind games Alexa plays. She's the best at getting her opponent angry and using that anger against them. That's the same strategy I expect to see employed tonight. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Alexa Bliss looking a little stunned here, but you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. And you just get that feeling that being outside the ring so much here in this match will eventually oh, come man. back to haunt her. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. And this match is going to continue. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's Last Man Standing match. And the beat goes on. Mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Ooh, what impact. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. She comes up big with a reversal. Heavy duty right hand. Oh, nasty impact. What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? This is not at all where she hoped to be at this point in the match. Jeez. She's not looking good, guys, but we've seen her come back from worse in the past, and I'm willing to bet she can do it again here in this last man standing match. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Oh, and she gets out of the way. God, oh, what a slam. This match ain't over yet. Not over yet. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things.
This match ain't over yet. Come on. Let the ref do his job. She's fading here, guys. Oh, she's got to shake those cobwebs. It is imperative. No, she's too quick for her. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Look at her go. Avoids trouble there. Look out. Alexa Bliss is moving. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Nasty impact. Bliss is out of it, guys. Things do not look good for Alexa Two. Bliss. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, the this grueling last man standing match has finally come to an end. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Rowdy. It's all over, and Ronda Rousey stands victorious. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. The baddest! Byron, time to put your... And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Beautiful technique. Look at Sonya Deville. Boom, what impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brent Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. 
Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent... And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Whether it's in a ring, an octagon, or on the big screen, Ronda Rousey has truly embodied her nickname, the baddest woman on the planet. And that's a title she puts on the line every time she fights. Look at Sonya Deville. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Byron touched on her. She counters before it's too late. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She wants it. Nailed it. She got her good there. Look at Sonya Deville. She's almost out of it. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. There is no taller order in WWE than attempting to defeat the baddest woman on the planet. Byron, how can any woman gain a victory over Ronda Rousey? Well, obviously, training is the utmost Ouch. importance as Ronda approaches every fight with a lot of preparation. But here's the thing. Ronda has been training her whole life. How do you overcome that? Ronda Rousey's done playing. We talked about... This might be it! Oh, my... This is it. This is her chance. Can that beat Sonya Deville? She's licking her chops. Going for the big one. Oh, what impact. Incredible. Oof. She's got a chance to win it here. Can that beat Sonya Deville? Nope. She releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Watch out here. This could mean trouble. Harsh impact. Look out here. You gotta believe this one's over. She's in full control now. Not again. Wow. One of these competitors is eventually gonna have to gain the upper hand. Right? Vicious knee. <laughs> look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. She looks for it once again. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Can that beat Sonya Deville? She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She better do something fast. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Now, oh, it's over. Get out of her way. She ain't playing. Look at this, Byron. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Ronda Rousey's done playing. <laughs> This one's over, guys. I see where she's going with this. This is it. Harsh impact. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Ooh, that should do it. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a... Look at this, Byron. She's almost out of it. And Corey, she releases the hold. 
Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. Ronda Rousey's done playing. I don't think this is going to do it. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Nope, reverses it. She wants it one more time. Oh, she can pick up the win here, guys. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. This might be it. Oh, my. That has got to be it. Can that beat Sonya Deville? She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. We're looking at complete domination here. She better do something fast. She's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. And Sonya Deville said, here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Ronda Rousey's done playing. You gotta believe this one's over. This one is over. Boom, what impact. Game, set, match, this one is over. Can that beat Sonya Deville? Yes! Unreal performance. Despite her dominance at WrestleMania in her debut match, not many folks expected Ronda Rousey's next match to be for the Raw Women's Championship. Well, one person expected it. The Raw Women's Champion at the time, Nia Jax, who personally laid down the challenge against the baddest woman on the planet. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is! Did you hear that crack? There it is! Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back oh. in control of this thing. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants to get... She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Did you hear that crack? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is! Did you hear that crack? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Nia Jax, the irresistible forces in action here. As her name implies, she's a tough competitor to overcome. Any ideas of how an opponent can prepare for Nia? I'd say it's nearly impossible to take down Nia, but Ronda Rousey's done playing. Beautiful technique. There is no coming back from that one. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Going back to the discussion. She's looking at it. Nasty impact. There it is. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize. This might be it. Oh, my. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Looking for all the glory here. Two, three. Yes! Takes it!
The coup's on Raw! What more can Alexa Bliss say about Ronda Rousey that just wouldn't make Alexa a it. Nice. Shut it down. And this match is going to continue. Oof. Boom, what impact. Elbow drop, big time. She's absorbing some offense here. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Now the arm's trapped. Scoop slam! Guys, we've seen some pretty creative finishes to last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 2010 when John Cena duct taped Batista's legs together. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Byron, regarding that Cena-Batista match you mentioned, not only did the animal lose that night, but it was also likely one of the most embarrassing moments of his career. Of course it was, Cole. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if you struggled to stand because your feet were taped together? Come on. And the beat goes on. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing extremes to keep their opponents down for a 10 count. Oh, that's the truth, Saxton. Last man standing has definitely resulted in some unique usage of everything from weapons to pay-per-view sets and everything in between. Not over yet. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up. She dodges that one. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Guys, we've seen some pretty creative finishes to last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 2010 when John Cena duct taped Batista's legs together. Great women's action here in WWE. Six. Byron, regarding that Cena-Batista match you mentioned, not only did the animal lose that night, but it was also Eight. likely one of the most embarrassing moments of his career. Of course it was, Cole. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if you struggled to stand because your feet were taped together? Come on.
Alexa Bliss is under some heavy assault. Delivering the shin breaker. She's in full control now. Got it. Like well, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. One, two, three. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. This match ain't over yet. Beautiful technique. One, two, three. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. No mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Two, three, four. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, Six, especially given how intense the match has been. Seven, eight. This match ain't over yet. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Two. We will go on. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Slam down hard. Two. Not over yet. Ooh, what impact. She's got her where she wants her. One more shot and she's done. Harsh impact. She's back in full control now. Two. Three. Four. The referee is watching this one very closely. At any moment, he'll have to call this match if one of these combatants can't get up. performance.